Hi, I just want to bring a subject to you that's on my mind. There's a lot of thoughts going against this, but I'm just sitting in my car because it's raining and it's quiet in my car. But the world is at the point I would call tribulation, not in a religious uh, sense, like not the tribulation, but just tribulation, and I wanted to share that, it's just on my mind, I'm not trying to promote a belief or anything, I've been watching the astrology, the, and it shows me right now we have a definite demonic passage there are a lot of people are entering into the demonic or demonic realm so it's going to affect them their development of humanity tribulation this is like the crux the beginning it's been going on for a long time, since even the early 60s, and people knew it was going on. And they always said, this is it now, this is it now, but I've really been watching the astrology, uh, the alignments of the planets, and everything that's been going on in the world. So... Um, you know, whether or not it's false flag or real or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's just the effects, the planet, this current civilization that's based on a Roman Empire. Um, a lot of people were predicting that SHTF shit hits the fan, it's just going to fall overnight. I don't think so. I think it's going to take hundreds, maybe a hundred years or few hundred years or the exact amount doesn't matter but the thing that tribulation really indicates is that there's really no turning back um, it's just a, a downward motion towards dissolvement however there could become a scenario where a new world leader enters the stage known as the serpent leader and he would be able to speak to all people at once uh, making people believe in him from both sides I guess it correlates to the Antichrist but unfortunately the literal interpretation of the Bible has brought forth intellectual fallacies so the possibility of a world leader um, emerging maybe 20 years from now maybe five even but probably more like 20 30 years from now someone with a lot of personal charisma could come about and try to create a world order like that where people actually like him but it's still evil in it's in its uh dictatorship methodologies and stuff but other than that uh I generally disbelieve there will be a World War III on any historical terms and that's almost a lost cause. There are some warmongers left, um, but the problems that are going on on a more subtle level is an impossibility to organize a world war and then there's the question of UFO alien interaction that's caused also nuclear weaponry to be disarmed and I just wanted to point that out that the planetary alignment now is basically what the Mayans were pointing at and they weren't wrong it's just in esoteric knowledge it's not always literal and it has to be interpreted in a certain way so I might get out of here it's kind of crappy out. This guy might want to get there. Uh, anyway.
anyways there's uh, a lot of chaos on the way probably more of the same maybe more escalated I mean in a, in a way the worst is behind us and in a way the worst it's just it's not gonna be overnight and there's no real solution except that people I think need to take an individual uh, consciousness kind of perspective so yeah